I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at the CTIA Wireless and IT Show at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. I'm joined by Anthony Reyes of Dmailer. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. You're welcome. Sure. Tell us about your company. Well, Dmailer Software offers a synchronization software that allows you to take your entire PC onto any storage device. We currently ship the software on SanDisk, Western Digital, and Lassie uh, USB and hard drives, and we're porting our application to cell phones. So essentially, you'll be able to take all of your PC data, including your Outlook email, on your cell phone. Send and receive Outlook email, Right. make attachments, have your entire PC essentially on your phone. So what about the technologies that, are you, that you're using are making what you're doing somewhat different? Because certainly the ability to synchronize sure. PC to mobile phone isn't necessarily a new thing. It is not a new thing, uh, but essentially you're, you're able to do uh, what we do today in theory with BlackBerry, with Visto, right. with the very high end. What we're doing is bringing that functionality to any mobile phone. Okay? Essentially, we're porting this to Java. Over 70% of cell phones today will have this capability. We're really, uh, uh, we're really going after, uh, I guess you can call it the BlackBerry for the working class. Right. right? For <laughs> the BlackBerry for really everybody. Right, making it more accessible. Absolutely. And so is your product at the market right now? Our product is due to be, uh, 1.0 is due to be announced in, uh, uh, in February of 2008. Uh, so we do have a working demo uh, okay. that we're showing all sorts of uh, press and customers. Give us a little bit more background on uh, where, where's your company located <laughs> sure. and where, where your team's sort of being, uh, your talent being called from, if sure. you will. Actually, Dmailer is located in Marseille, France. Okay, which okay. is very interesting for everybody. Yes, well, a lovely place to be. Well, you'll have to come down and I actually will have uh, to come down. interview us in person <laughs> in Marseille. I think, uh, Absolutely, one of my favorite could, places in the world. Exactly. Uh, so our software, what's interesting is our software is actually probably being used by a large number of customers here in the U.S., but they don't even know it because our software is actually branded SanDisk or branded Western Digital or branded Lacey. So this is actually the first time that we are able to come to the United States and introduce ourselves, essentially introduce Dmailer, the software that you've already been using right. probably for the last few So why, why, why the change in strategy now? If you've been branding yourselves through other companies, why are you looking to make more of a presence in the marketplace now? Well, it's not necessarily that we're changing the strategy, so to speak. We never really, uh, it's not that we didn't try to get our name out there, but we just really didn't have the resources to. We're a relatively small company. We just uh, finished our first round of venture financing through uh, some uh, French venture capitalists. And uh, I think now we actually have the resources to come out here, to really introduce ourselves, to really... Uh, let ourselves be known. Right. So are you looking to then through um, your own more independent branding strategy, is that the product that's going to be more available to the consumer so they're going to know your company that way rather than through a SanDisk or any of the other partners that you mentioned? They will be able to actually, and, and our thinking is they'll be able to access the software in both ways. Through our partners, we'll, we'll probably won't offer the exact same software that we offer right. publicly. It'll have special features particular to the partner, be it a handset manufacturer, right. be it a mobile operator, uh, be it a flashcard vendor. Everybody has a different sort of set of requirements. Right. How exactly does it get synced with your computer and, right. and your mobile phone? Right. So essentially there's really two ways today. The very first sync happens either via USB cable connected right. from the phone or you just take the little micro or mini SD flash and plug that into a phone with an adapter. So is it a certain level of phone that this is going to work on or I mean if a person has a phone from a few years ago or still has sort of your more basic looking mobile Java is the key. Right. If you have Java on your phone, okay. then you essentially can use our software. Okay. Uh, that is the big challenge in the mobile space. Is yeah. You have to essentially make applications for a plethora of different uh, operating right. systems. Right, and were you able to take into consideration, for example, you know, battery life or memory space or any of those types of things that on a mobile device, I mean, all of a sudden you get all these applications that are on there, and right. next thing you know, your phone only lasted for, you know, two hours and it True. doesn't work because it, the memory's full? True. We are definitely taking a look at that. I mean, I think it's interesting to note that our application today on a desktop is uh, 4.8 megabytes large, right. okay, with nine languages. So it's a, it's a nine language completely full application with an Outlook client. We have our own sort of Outlook compatible client. Right. Uh, and it's that small. It's incredibly efficient and it runs exceptionally well. We take essentially all of your key PC data. We take email, all of your files, your internet favorites, and so forth. Okay. For instance, here, it already recognizes that I have Outlook and Outlook Express on this PC. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just select for this. I'll select Outlook, and if you go into your advanced settings, you'll see that essentially what it does is it brings up my entire Outlook tree. So I can pick and choose all of the stuff 
all of the email, contacts, calendars, everything that I want to bring with me onto the cell phone. That's really interesting because with BlackBerry, you can't actually send attachments from your phone. Truly unique here is that when I am out on the road, uh, I can plug into any PC or I can take out my, my, uh, my uh, card my mini SD card from here and plug it into any PC and I have the same access of all my files. I can work on Word files, PowerPoint, uh, Excel files and send them from that PC if I want. Well, that's fantastic, Anthony. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. You're welcome. We're here at uh, CTIA Wireless and IT Show. We've been speaking with uh, Anthony Reyes of Dmailer and I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.